and welcome everyone. My name is Rizwana Manjur and I'm the regional editor of Marketing Interactive. We partnered with Facebook on the Keep Going, Keep Growing program to bring to life some of these inspiring stories across SMB sectors here in Singapore and Hong Kong. We will showcase how SMBs and the advertising industry can actually cross learn and help each other flourish during difficult times. In this episode, we'll hear from Charlene Chan, founder of Tinkle Arts, which is a social enterprise that holds art workshops and events and has its own products. Tinkle Arts had to think on its feet and evolve to embrace virtual executions and rely on social media marketing to grow its user base and survive through tough times. Hi everyone, I am Daisuke and I run the Southeast Asia marketing team at Facebook. Today, I'm very excited to be here with Charlene Chen, who is the founder of Tinko Arts. Charlene, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Daisuke. So Tinko Arts, um, you know, the, the, the brand's uh, theme is Arts with Heart. And I'm actually a big fan of Charlene uh, and the team. What they do is actually very inspiring. And also they create amazing, um, you know, pieces of art uh, including their beautiful uh, uh, magnets, uh, which is inspired by the Singapore local food. So I'm personally, you know, been uh, collecting uh, magnets all over the world uh, together with my wife when we travel uh, and go on excursion. And, you know, we have uh, Charlene's beautiful piece as part of our collection um, as well. So, you know, um, that's sort of like my personal story. Now, I, I'd like to ask you, Charlene, about, you know, your story, you know, what sort of like led you to uh, start Tinko Arts and what you do, um, you know, currently as well? Sure, that's okay. I'm happy to share. I founded Tinko Arts in the year 2000 and it really started off as a hobby in clay art. I was inspired to do more with this newfound passion and I'm also happy that I'm able to find a way to help the less privileged communities at the same time. So um, we decided to register Tinker Arts as a social enterprise in 2018. Fast forward a couple of years, now we currently employ six people with special needs from MINDS and have adapted processes for these new employees. These are some of the magnets that uh, you can find at the museum. Yes. I'm sure you have some of these. Yes. yes. <laughs> so th thank you for sharing your story, Charlene. Um, you know, it's again, it's it's very inspiring to me about uh, what you do and, and thank you for doing that. Um, and then Charlene, could you talk a little more about how COVID-19 has, you know, uh, directly impacted, uh, you know, your business? What were the biggest challenges that you've been uh, facing since COVID-19? Uh, okay, one of our core areas of business got impacted uh, heavily, that's in-person workshops and events. Um, so we have to pivot to virtual and also have to face a lot of challenges in dropping demands because all the classes are cancelled, events are cancelled because of the situation. And um, also now currently we also have to limit the class size. Mm. Uh, we have to plan around logistics as well, uh, for example, making sure that uh, we deliver the material kits uh, on time to yes. the location of our class participant and also how to uh, manage uh, online classes via Zoom or another platform as well. Yes. No, I mean, it must be, you know, quite challenging. But then you also mentioned that you started to engage with uh, online platforms and, and channels. Could you talk, uh, talk about how you've been engaging? Yes, um, we use Facebook and Instagram because it's easy to use and we're able to reach out, out to our communities uh, and our customers via this because um, most of them has got Facebook and Instagram account. So uh, replying their inquiries is almost uh, instantly, uh, you know, that's easy for us to directly communicate with them. Um, they are also able to find us and uh, follow us regularly because we post regularly through these two platforms as well. And uh, lastly, I think it's also very cost effective to advertise compared to using traditional market uh, marketing, uh, like for example, TV advertising 
and all that. Uh, these are these normally you use a lot of our budget, you know, to invest in. I think there's still a you know a perception that you know working with partners and agencies are a luxury for large businesses, which is actually not true. And I think you are a great example of you know how uh, businesses of any size can work effectively with uh, marketing partners and agencies. So could you share your story about how you have been working with them? Thanks for raising the topic, Daisuke. Um, I think that there's so much more that the marketing professionals can do to help business, some of which they are already doing so and should continue. I feel that marketing professionals can help and support and lend guidance on tactics to help us overcome challenges around a few points, like for example, reaching the local and global marketplace at scale is often top of mind for me. Uh, secondly, to increasing revenue for the company through sales of products and services through digital marketing and platforms. And also, uh, thirdly, to boost outreach and uh, bring awareness to the public and communities of what businesses are and, they stand, and what they stand for. And lastly, engage and help foster collaboration opportunities with other brands and organizations. It's been a very turbulent year for, you know, uh, all of us globally. And then we all need some, you know, mental and emotional support as well. So my next question to you would be, how have you been engaging with your family, friends and communities uh, to support each other during this, uh, you know, very turbulent time? Uh, yes, in fact, it's, uh, it's a very uncertain time for us uh, over in Singapore and as, as well for our company and even as well as my, for my family as well. But I guess because of all these, it brings us together, closer. Um, I, I can see that in many ways uh, of what we have uh, done with uh, the support from the government and, and all that. So. Our customers are also very supportive as well, so they come and they come up with um, ideas to help to boost our businesses. And also, yes, we have got volunteers from Facebook as well, uh, lending it their ad credits to us to help to to market in uh, through Facebook and Instagram. So all these have come together to help us in in times of need. Our friends and family also try to come out with businesses ideas. Yeah, so it's, it's really, I mean, I'm really grateful that they are being so supportive. So we just have to tighten our belts and uh, just, be, just to be mindful of, about our spending. What keeps you, um, you know, uh, optimistic and, and motivated? And, uh, you know, if you have any advice to your fellow uh, business owners, uh, what would that be? Okay, my motivations are um, to be able to create meaningful employment for our differently enabled employees while spreading joy, culture and beauty because um, I, I, I think our products uh, bring joy and happiness to our tourists mm -hmm. and to our locals um, because they are very uniquely Singaporean. And also, um, I hope to make this society more inclusive and diversified by employing them with this skill, empowering them with this skill and a platform to showcase their talent. Um, as how I started Tinker Arts, where it grew from a side hobby to where it is today, I hope that many out there can also think about how they can spread positivity and uh, make inclusion and diversity as a key part of their business as well. Okay, thank, thank you so much for, you know, um, sharing your thoughts and experiences, um, you know, sharing today. It's been a great, uh, you know, inspiring session. Um, I actually learned a lot and I am pretty sure the audience did as well. And then I can personally tell you, if you haven't got the, um, you know, Charlene's beautiful uh, magnet yet, you should definitely get one. Uh, I will tell you that you wouldn't uh, regret. Um, so thank you so much, Charlene, today, you know, for spending time with me and, you know, sharing all the insights.